Hope coming down here to meet me wasn't too inconvenient for you, Hoshino-san. I'm Senda from Bato Detective Agency. Uh, so, you were kind of vague on the phone. What were you trying to get at? You really don't know what this is about? Rocking those shades at this time of night is telling me a different story, son. Mark of a guilty conscience. I assure you that's not the case. Anyway, what did you want to discuss? It's what I was telling you over the phone. We got a request from Saori Shirasaki to look into you, but I figured I'd do you a solid and let you see what I found before I reported back to my client. Yeah, but what's this? <laughs> you don't recognize your girl? We snapped a quick pic when she came to the office. No way. Why would Sauri, son? way I hear it, you two are getting engaged soon, so you can finally tie the knot. But sometimes, women get cold feet, you know? They just want to know what they're getting into. I see it all the time. You... Okay, then. So, what did you find, sir? I haven't done anything that would incriminate me. And this is a violation of detective client privilege. You're breaking the rules. Oh, no, that's a pretty good one. As I'd expect from a lawyer. But Hoshino, you really think you can bluff your way out of this shot? <sighs> well, well, well. I do believe that's you strolling out of a Kamurocho love hotel, Slugger. Uh, One last flang before the big day? <laughs> Hope you made it worth your time. What? The... This is... You've got it all wrong! Whoa, whoa, take it easy, would ya? Come on, Hoshino-san. We don't have to play by courtroom rules here. It's simple. I can make this whole thing disappear for you. Only reason lawyers don't go to hell is because they can afford not to. In other words, you're saying I have to pay you now to delete that picture? Nothing I love more than a fast learner, kid. Four million yen. This goes up in smoke, and the client never has to hear anything to the contrary. Four million yen? I don't have that kind of money! Your whole damn future is riding on this deal I'm making you. It's a small price to pay, isn't it? Yeah, but... Hey, Hoshino. Would you prefer that I send this to your office with a nice little bow? I... So, you take the client's money up front. Then you shake down the mark for another four million on top. Man, you corrupt detectives really rake it in, don't you? Who the fuck? Shit. You were... You were in the Matsugane. And you're Shiro Senda. You were a former lieutenant in the Bato family. And right now, you're on my turf. Kaito-san. That was my acting. Not bad if I say so myself. Huh? Acting? One of your old clients came to us to help her get her money back. As it turns out, your little extortion racket has been getting around. And that's why Hoshino-kun and Saori-san put together a three-act play that got us everything we need. All that's left to do is bag your ass with it. Ain't that right, Hoshino-kun? Yep. I got the whole thing on tape. Hey! Uh... All right. That'll be four million yen you took from your client. Plus 300,000 for annoying me. You need to hit an ATM? Get back here!
This is in Kamarocho, right? How about you give me a little inside tour? <sighs> ah! Senda! The hell's this about? Boss, I... I kinda screwed up. I know you. You're with the Matsugane family. The name's Kaito, and I'm with the Yagami Detective Agency now. <laughs> you call this dump an office? It's got the scent of illicit Yakuza business all over it. You trying to scare your clients? I take it you're not one of those clients. What do you want? You the head honcho around here? Igarashi's the name. I'm the Bato Detective Agency's chief consultant. You mean the Bato family, right? Didn't you guys used to call yourselves the Tojo Clan R&D? You dig up dirt on cops and their families. All to twist the long arm of the law. Seems going legit hasn't taught you a damn thing. And it's making us real detectives look bad. That shit won't fly around me. Hate to burst your bubble, but we got a customer satisfaction rate of over 80%. So kindly take your bitching and blow it out your ass. Then why don't I cut to the chase? I'm here for the million yen you grifted out of my client. Plus, 300 grand for the trouble. Make it snappy, and I'll leave a souvenir. You're screwed more than sideways if the cops hear it. Send a you clusterfuck. <laughs> Real sorry. Well, I suppose I should give you credit for leading a competitor right to us. throw down. But fair warning, I'm tacking on extra for the ass whooping. All right, cut the yapping. Shut this idiot up permanently!
know then. Looks like our total comes out to one and a half million. Pretty lean for a business that was about to go under. You'll get yours someday, Kaito. Mark my words. <laughs> That's what they all say. Oh, I can't believe you got my money back from those crooks. How can I ever thank you? No need. I was just taking out the town garbage. Your husband wasn't even cheating on you, was he? No. But they still threatened to tell him I booked an investigation. Believe me, you're not alone here. There's been a recent uptick of con artists operating as detectives. See, normally, ex-Yakuza have to wait five years before they can open a detective business. So they'll often skirt the law by setting up a civilian to be the agency's owner. I see. Actually, I did find it strange how much cheaper they were than other agencies. Well, with a Yagami detective agency, we don't charge a yen until you see results. We're a name you can trust. So, next time you need to keep tabs on your man, don't hesitate to swing on by. <laughs> I think I'll be fine for now. I've chosen to trust my husband, but thank you. By the way, Hoshino, how are things really going with Saori Song? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm in it for the long haul. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if we're actually even together. You guys have been dating in what? Three years? Never thought about getting hitched? Of course! At least I, I have. As for whether Saori San would be receptive to the idea. Doubton's only gonna drive her away. Show her you're a man with a plan. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I'll make it happen this year. And I'll be rooting for you, pal. Great. On that note, I'd better get going. I still have some work left at the office. here. It's talk. Greetings. You've reached Yokohama 99. Yo, it's Kaito. Wanna go get drinks? You, me, and Sugiura? Ah, uh, I'm afraid Sugiura, she's not available. Right now, he's out looking into an affair. Huh. Okay, what about you? It's been a while, you know? Uh, well, I do appreciate the invite. Tonight's not good for me, either. It's not? How come? Because tonight is reserved for anime, a very special one. It's the premiere of Love Star 3, the movie, Director's Cut Edition. <laughs> I can hardly contain myself. Oh, come on, an anime? Can't you just record the damn thing? I don't think you get it, Kaito-san. A premiere only happens once, and then it's history. You have to watch the stream while it's live and keep the chat turned on. That's the experience. 
You've got it to. What now? Oh, I know. Kaito-san, if you like, I can add you to our Love Star community. That way we can voice chat online while you have your drink at home. It's a win-win. I'm sure my friends would love to welcome you. Yeah, Tsukumo, I don't know. This sounds like a lot to me. I think I'm gonna sit this one out. Gosh, I was just about to give you a breakdown on Love Star's deeper themes. Oh well. Oh, the stream's about to go live. Until next time. What's the good word, Kaito Anaki? Just thought you might want to go have a drink. Right now? Yeah, thing is, I kind of have a dinner meeting tonight. A dinner meeting? <laughs> Sounds pretty fancy for an arcade manager. Yeah, you're telling me. See, the thing is, we're opening up a new location in Eugene Show. Managed to hit it off with a guy who rents us our equipment. Turns out he's a CEO looking to invest. Whoa! So you'll be the owner of two arcades? Looks like it. Damn, look at you moving up in the world. Yeah, well, to be honest, I'd rather knock one back with my Aniki. Nah, you do your thing. Some other time, okay? Sounds good, Aniki. Oh, almost forgot. I heard this from one of the part-timers at Charles, but apparently some kid came looking for you. Some kid? I guess. I wasn't the one who saw him. But evidently, this punk had some fight in him. Our guys chased him out before he could start any shit. What the hell's a kid like that want with me? You tell me, man. But not right now. I, I gotta prep for that meeting. Is everything okay? Yeah, just thought we could grab a drink. Oh, well, uh, like I said before, I still have work to do. Hell, you're not done yet? Not even close. Plus, Saori-san needs my help after this, so... Yeah, I get it. Can't tear a man away from the love of his life. Something like that. Anyway, let's try some other time. show my face at tender. Maybe I'll bump into someone I know. This right here.
Oh my gosh, was someone murdered? Dunno. Could have been a Yakuza, maybe. But I thought the Tojo clan was long gone. Kaito-san, come join us. You by yourself? Yeah. Talk's out of town helping Gendo-sensei. Says he'll be gone another couple days. Aha. Uh -huh. So is the sidekick getting lonely without the leading man? <laughs> In your dreams, Mari. Masuda, the usual. You see any shit going down outside? I overheard someone talking about a murder. Ah, that. Apparently, the victim was a young executive. Actually, there was a similar case a few days ago. It caused quite a stir. I believe the man was a CEO. Some killers out to eat the rich, huh? Who knows? Crazy world out there. Uh, speaking of which, did you finish the job I found you? Oh, I kicked the crap out of those swindlers. And Hoshino-kun put on quite the show. Really? Oh, I wish I could have seen the pros at work. No one else? I think Hoshino-kun and Saori-san are just about there. Fellow was all riled up, saying this'll be the year. By that, you mean they're tying the knot? Yeah. The question is... Will Saori-san give him a yes? <laughs> I'd say she needs more time. If he rushes it, it might not turn out well. Yeah, I suppose your gut's usually right, Mari. What about you, Kaito-san? Any romance blooming in your life? <laughs> Whoa! Since when was this about me? <laughs> because you clearly have no trouble talking to women. But I never hear what happens in the end. What happens in the end... is rejection. Yeah? Well, maybe I like being a free agent. You call it rejection. I call it release. And even if I do keep getting shot down, so what? Every beauty who walks away is only making room for the next one. Oh, Kaito-san, you're gonna grow into a lonely old man at this rate. Honestly, Mari, that's all talk. Once Kaito-san falls in love, he falls so hard he can't even see straight. Why, I recall a time he even considered getting married. You're kidding! Kaito-san, a husband? Yo, could we not go there? Oh, shoot, her name was on the tip of my tongue. I suppose it's been over a decade now. You two were living together, right? I think her name... Masada, look, that's a long story. Some other time, okay? Hmm? Oh. Sure thing. By the way, you got any more gigs? We've been dry thanks to those fake detectives, so if you could hook it up. Actually, that reminds me. A man came by asking about you. He said he was looking for someone. He wanted me? Specifically? I don't know the details, but he wants to meet you. He's the CEO of some tech company. Oh, a tech company, eh? What's the offer? He said he's prepared to pay two million up front. Two million? Well, well, that's mighty generous. Apparently, it's for any investigation expenses that come up. And when it's done, he'll pay an extra 20 million. Uh, 20 million? Depending on the outcome, he might pay even more. <laughs> he must be swimming in cash. Holy hell. Sounds like a tempting offer, but do you really want to do it alone? Especially with your boss out of town. True. <laughs> One look at you and the client might drop the case and run. Hmm. 
right? At least find a smart-looking jacket to cover... whatever that is. <laughs> Indeed. You'll need to dress for the occasion, that's for sure. Man, you guys have no faith in me, huh? Well, I'm not putting on a show for him or anyone else. True style doesn't change with the tides. Not to mention, it's the heart that counts. Watch me knock this guy's socks off, just being plain old Kaito. He's about to expire. Hey, Banaki, what's with the suit and tie? What? I thought I'd pull out all the stops for today's climb. Dress for the occasion, all that. After all, the pro's gotta look the part, too. I mean... <laughs> Yeah? But you never give a rat's ass about that stuff. So I start now. Uh, today's just special, all right? Uh, there. Okay, but do you really need me here? Don't you get it? If I'm busy talking this guy up, who's gonna offer some tea? The landlady? Besides... Bored in the Matsugane family for years. The boss loved your tea, remember? Whoa, hang on. That was a long time ago. Well, I'm counting on you today. I'm paying you 50,000 just to serve two people. Coming from you, that's pretty generous. How much is this gig worth, anyway? Uh, that's a matter of, uh, detective client privilege. Come in. Hello there. I'm Kyoya Saramoto, CEO of Image Interactive. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. I'm Masaharu Kaito, an investigator here. I'm Higashi, just a part-timer. It really is great to meet you, Kaito-san. I've heard so much about you. Good things, I hope? Of course. You're a legend in these parts, aren't you? I'm not so sure about that. Oh, but first, please, take a seat. Enjoy. Ah, why thank you. Well then, shall we get down to business? I understand you're looking for someone. May I ask who? That would be my wife. My deceased wife, actually. Your deceased wife? Can you give me some more details? I was under the impression she went missing. Well, I lost her about two years ago. She took her own life. I see. I'm very sorry. Let me rephrase then. You want us to find her even though you know she passed away? Yes, well... Why don't I start from the time she died? Two years ago, my wife left a suicide note at home one day and disappeared. As you can imagine, I went right to the police. Upon finding nothing, she was declared a missing person. 
Six months later, they recovered a body, possibly my wife's, on a riverbed in the mountains of Chiba. There's a large waterfall nearby, which she likely jumped. Her body was decomposed beyond recognition, but authorities later identified her based on something she was carrying. And what was that? A photograph. In it was her and our son. I see. But was that really enough to ID her? Wouldn't they have done some sort of analysis? Yes. I requested a DNA test be performed. Lo and behold, my wife was a near-perfect match. Then, at that point, her death was all but certain. Yet, you still believe she's alive? About a month ago, my wife's friend said she saw someone in Kamurocho that looked like her. This woman, according to my wife's friend, was with some unfamiliar man. And when the friend called out her name, she froze. Then she immediately fled. Hmm. Is it possible this was all just a coincidence? Believe me, I considered that. The DNA test had more or less cemented her death in my mind. But then I started doing my own research, and I found that DNA test results aren't always set in stone. Especially in cases where the body's in an advanced state of decomposition, the results can vary widely. I even came across an astonishing article in which someone's lost relative showed up after a DNA test said they died. After reading that, who wouldn't have hoped that their dear wife is still somewhere out there? <sighs> Mind you, this woman was the spitting image of my wife. Her voice was a perfect match too. And this is coming from a friend who's known her for years. As she herself put it, there's no way it wasn't her. If I could inquire about the compensation, my contact at Tender quoted two million in advance, plus another twenty million upon completion. Yes. Regardless of the outcome, I intend to have at least that much prepared. When you say at least that much, you mean... If you manage to find my wife safe and sound, I'll throw in another 10 million. So, a, a grand total of 32 million? Hey, Anaki. Just checking. I'm being paid 50,000 today, right? Yeah. 50,000 for serving some damn tea. Got a problem? Oh no, it's fine. Now I see where all that generosity is coming from. By the way, uh, may we request any photos of your wife you may have? <sighs> Sir? I've actually approached other detectives about this, but none of them could turn up any leads. Then I heard you were working as a detective, in Kamurocho no less. Immediately I thought to myself, if anyone can find my wife, it's him, considering how well acquainted you are. Huh? You saying I know her? Uh. Oh. Anaki, isn't that... Yes. Mikiko Natsume was her maiden name. I understand you used to live together long ago. And that sums up why I'm here. Because of how intimately you know her. You're really going to go? After what they did to the boss, I can't just sit back and do nothing! But you might actually get killed this time. I'm sorry. 
So your family is more important than me. Believe me, I understand how bizarre this request might be. But I know you can get to the bottom of it. You lived with Mikiko in this very town. You knew her better than anyone. Kaito-san, I'm begging you. Won't you bring her back? I'd heard rumors. But I never thought they'd be true. Sadamoto-san. Are you sure Mikiko took her own life? I mean... She did leave a suicide note. Why, though? The, the Mikiko I knew would never do that, no matter what the reason. Honestly, I wish I knew. The note was sparse on details. The hell does that mean? Aren't you supposed to be her husband? <sighs> For what my memory's worth. Mikiko seemed to have some anxieties about her job. And I was so busy with my own work at the time, I failed to give her support. I was hardly even home half the time. It was only when she left me that I realized how poorly I treated her. So, let's say Mikiko is alive. Then what? It's gonna be one big happy reunion? I don't really have an answer for that. I doubt she'd even want to look at me. But then again, we do have our son to consider. He's 14 already. His name's June. So, Mikiko's got a kid and everything. Yes. And he's just as rambunctious as his mother. He took off once he heard she might be alive. Even though I specifically told him to stay put, the moment my back was turned, he was gone. Wait, he ran away? He did. About two weeks ago. I thought he might pull something like this, so I set up location tracking on his phone. But, being that he left his phone in his room, he must have figured that out. Outsmarted by a teenager, I swear. Two weeks on his own at his age? At 14, he's what, in middle school? June pulls this kind of stunt all the time. He hangs out with these delinquents, often couch-surfing for days at a time. Of course, I'm one to talk. Since most days, I miss the last train. And since I'm at a hotel, I won't even be home to notice he's gone. Well, how about that? Look, that's all beside the point. Right now, I need your help. Hate to break it to you, Sadamoto-san. But I don't think I'm your guy. What? May I ask how come? I just... don't think I'm cut out for it, is all. Come now! That's final. Fine. Fine. I know when a mind's made up. What a shame that is. Monaki, you sure you want to let this guy go? That's 32 mil walking away. Not to mention the truth about Mikiko. I know what I'm doing. 
Okay, you're the boss. job down the shitter. I think that calls for a drink. You, uh, want somebody to tag along? Sure, but weren't you slammed with the new opening and all? Well, I mean, yeah, there's work to be done. I'd have to go inspect the place after. Right. Then you better go deal with that. Glad to hear business is good, though. Sorry about that, Anaki. Oh, and about that 50 grand I owe you. Don't even worry about it. T was on the house today, man. When my Anaki says poor, I serve the best damn cup you ever tried. That shit hasn't changed. Oh, Higashi. You wonderful bastard. Huh? Hey, Anaki, that photo. Damn it. Don't just leave your junk in my office. <sighs> Should I just toss it? Well, wouldn't be the first gig I tossed. Better head on down to Tender and see what else Mossida's got brewing. <laughs> 